Gender dysphoria is described as a sense of unease a person may have because of a mismatch between their biological sex and their gender identity. When Max de Souza first came out in 2014, there was no gender care pathway to treat gender dysphoria within the GHA. But since then, he says things have come a long way. Much of this is thanks to his father, Jason, who was a mental health nurse at the time and understood the struggles both as a father and as a nurse if gender dysphoria isn't cared for. Throughout the years, there were meetings with various health ministers to highlight how many young adults in the community were struggling without the appropriate care. Many of them felt as though they were being passed around different professionals and getting lost in the system. Suddenly, out of the woodwork, people were coming out and literally coming out and saying, look, I'm trans and like, there's, what, what do I do? I'm lost. Um, so then we sort of started campaigning within the GHA to say, look, we need a pathway. We need somewhere for these people to go because not everyone can just fly to the UK. Like, even if the GHA put you in sponsor patients and put you in Carpet House, mm. um, it's a lot of money. You need to travel around London. With referrals in the UK taking up to two years, Max felt it was important to highlight the need for a localised gender service, especially as the risk of self-harm and suicide are highest amongst trans people who don't receive adequate care. Max and his dad would help create a pathway for those affected by gender dysphoria. And It's been a long process, but now in, the, in, in JIB there is a gender identity clinic um, based in Ocean Views, so I think the pathway, it's interesting because the pathway is you need to see a GP to be referred, but a lot of GPs don't know that the pathway exists. The Ministry for Equality credits the GHA and the Care Agency for helping to navigate through the process in the absence of pre-existing procedures. Today, there is far more awareness, and the subject even came up recently in parliamentary questions. The GHA's adult gender services isn't one everyone is aware of, but those affected should consult their GP in the first instance. The Ministry for Equality also has a leaflet on its website called Being a Trans Ally, aimed at the general public to raise awareness, support and understanding. Max and Jason believe Transgender Day of Visibility is important as it recognises and celebrates trans people. Max says he's proud to live in a Gibraltar with a health service that supports those who want to medically transition.